Hi, we have been asking whether we can use the PoE standard to repeat the network up to 300 meters or not. Let's say we, have, we want to add a new router, and the new router is about 300 meters far from the main router. The answer is positive. We need some of the equipment to supply up to 300 meters Ethernet. The first thing we need is these two PoE standards. One PoE standard can repeat 100 meters. While two PoE standards working together, it will supply up to 500 meter Ethernet. Yes, I say 500. I will explain later. The next thing we need is the PoE injector. And also the PoE speeder. The PoE injector will send the power to the Ethernet cable. So the, these two PoE standards can take the power in lights. There's no need for external power source for each of these PoE standard. So do, do, we, do we still need this PoE speeder even we are using the non-PoE like this router? Yes, it has to be PoE speeder. Because if you don't use the PoE speeder, you just plug the cable to the, this router, there's no power hand shape. In the standard PoE system, the PoE injector will classify and verify the edge device can take in the PoE before it releases the power. If we cannot receive the right answer, the PoE injector will not send the power. So these two will don't have power. It will not work in the whole PoE system. That's one of the reasons why we need this PoE speeder. I think the next thing we need is just the cable. All right, let me bring up the cable. This is the 300 Ethernet cable. Now I'm going to power up the PoE injector. and using the punch code to link to the main router. So this PoE jetter can take the data from the main router, also add the power to the Ethernet cable. I still need this another punch code to connect to the first PoE extender. There's a tricky thing. We need to connect the output, not the input, to the PoE injector. And the input, the input will be linked to the main, main, main cable. All right, now let's move to the edge. This is the second PoE extender. From here, we'll connect to the input. So eventually, we'll see two input phase together. And we need another punch code and connect the output to our PoE speaker. Once we plug in the cable, you can see the indicator has been turned on, which means the whole power system is working. And it's happened because to this, this router also accepts the DC TELF voltage. So I can just using the power to the router directory. If your router or the other network equipment already have external power supply, you may don't need this power source. You just need the cable only. All right, let me just move to the computer and connect to the uh, second router. This is the access point from the second router. Let me input the password, click join. Now I also need to turn on the VPN to access the google.com. OK, you see we have the network accessing. Let me just search the fast cabling. This is our main page. All right, everything just what was five. I think you may wondering what if the bandwidth after we repeat the network up to 300 meter. The bandwidth is 100 megabit per second within 500 meter. Yes, we still have another question to answer. We said we can repeat the network up to 500 meter, but there are only 300 meter in road. Actually, from the first PoE standard to the main router, we can have 100 meter. 
And from the second POE standard to the edge device, we also can have 100 meter Ethernet cable. So totally, we can have 500 meter Ethernet cable. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, you can post it in the comment section below. Have a nice day.